Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Dragonair video. I'd like to thank Dragonair Silent Gods for sponsoring this video. And I'm going to show you now one of the cool bosses that I've just got to, which is part of the kind of like weekly challenge bosses. You can actually earn some awesome, awesome rewards for doing these. So we're going to get into that in a second. If you're new to Dragonair, you can actually download right now. You can download using the link in my pinned comment, or you can use the QR code and get involved. We're actually coming up to an end of season event. So uh, I'm going to be showing off the new season um, champion, some of the new season kind of like content over the coming weeks. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, in fact, over the next few days, I'm going to drop a sneak peek at some of the new epics which have come through. Um, you know, they've just been all around the interwebs and you can check that out as well. Okay, let's get into today then. So as part of the, the kind of like weekly grind, you can do these challenges for different challenge bosses. You earn some cool rewards. So you get yourself some gold and some psychic core stuff, but you also get these pages of legendary poems. And you're like, oh, what's that? <laughs> what's going on with that? Well, with those, you could go into the exchange, uh, which is basically like the shop system, and you can redeem them for scrolls, i.e. book ups for your, your heroes, um, or some other stuff like summons. But I'm on the hunt to try and get myself a few more scrolls before the end of season so that I can just book up some of my, my more used legendaries and epic champions going into the new season where I'm going to have to build some new teams. So we're going to try and take on this little cheeky lass, the Corrupted Queen, Sylvester. And I think you'll be shocked by the type of heroes that I'm bringing into the fight, honestly. So if we check out what's going on here, the Corrupted Queen's got some really cool mechanics. So we've got a passive. If a summoned unit summoned by the queen dies, then she will get a stack of maternal connection. Maternal connection increases the damage I do to the queen by 5%. So when she summons adds, I want to be killing them off because it means I'll do more damage to her. And then she's got another ability up here, which is her ult, I guess, which is devour. So once she fills her full kind of like... um energy bar, energy bar, recharge bar, whatever. Um, once she fills it to the top, she's going to eat any minions that are still out there. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we kill them before she gets them. Otherwise, if she eats them, she does more damage. So she either takes more damage or she does more damage. Really, really cool uh, mechanic. And it says here that the heroes that you want to be bringing are heroes with increased defense just to try and protect yourself. Heroes that can reduce her attack. Again, just so you live for longer and any sort of damage reduction stuff. So we're going to go in here at the first challenge and I'll show you the squad that I'm bringing in. Firstly, look at this for a visual. Look at the visual. Take a second. Take a second, Dragonair, to give yourself a round of applause because killing it on the bosses in this game. Really, really good job. So what am I bringing in here? I've got this kind of like poison squad. Um, if you look at the ele elemental affinity bonus, poison plus lightning in this season is, is two of the ones that come together. So, and one, two, three rares. Three rares, two epics. Uh, and I think this is probably my best team for this squad. I might try a burn team if this doesn't work, but I think this is probably my best team. So what have I got going on? Froabath, who's a brilliant, brilliant tank. Yeah, so he's tanking up for me um, and uh, could do some, maybe a couple more books. So we still need more books. Yeah, a couple more, but we're getting there. He has got um, a good amount of healing. He's a great tanky champ, but he also places a attack penalty in a range. So wherever I want it to be, he'll place it. And I'm thinking to use his ult. So I'm, I'm not going to have him on full auto. Get to some of this harder content, you need to manual some of your positioning. So I'm going to ult with him the ads. And then we're going to use our friend here, Sigrid, who's a really high damage uh, champion, a really high damage rare. We're going to use Sigrid to then nuke anyone that has got debuffs on them. Sigrid's a great rare, honestly, really fun. So it doesn't matter where you attack on the board, as long as there are debuffs on enemies, Sigrid will nuke those enemies down. So Sigrid's one of the, the best rares. I'll probably do a video completely about Sigrid because what a great hero to be bringing on. Especially if you're starting right now and you're starting in season one. Uh, she was just one of the top rares in the game for season one. 
So Sigrid's in the team in a, in a damage build. Uh, I've then got two supports. So we've got um, Nathaniel here, who basically is just healing and keeping my team alive. I've got Hexandra, which is the, the first hero that you get for free. Uh, she's in the squad as well. Same sort of thing, really. Just, just keeping our team up and up nice and healthy. And then in the back line, I've got Eli. So Eli is going to be trying to kill some of the ads. He's got an ult, which kind of like fires in a row. So I'm going to target his ult to try and take down some of the ads. Uh, and then I've also put on him this artifact. I did a video all about artifacts. This is one of the best ones you can get for free. Basically, it's one of the only ways you can put decreased defense on an enemy in the game. So he's going to be putting decreased defense on the boss. And his ult is going to be helping me nuke down the side ads. So let's do it. So I've, I'm going to manual the ults on my Furbath, my Eli, and my Sigrid here. So let's just go to one time speed when the ults are up. She's dropped the egg sacs. I'm going to have to ult Eli into the egg sacs to the right to get two of them. Pop, pop, pop. We've got drop defense on one. We're just going to try and get debuffs on all of them. And then we're going to explode with. Sigrid, I think on this middle one, maybe on the right one actually, so we get more concentrated spiders. Got drop defense on it. I think it's going to die anyway. Yeah, okay. So, well, we've got two egg sacs left. These spawn spiderlings if they get to that time, which I think they will do. I don't think I'm, yeah, spiderlings are out. So, just hold on Eli's, uh, sorry, hold on Sigrid's ult until we've got debuffs out there. If I go forwards, I get two spiderlings and the boss. I think we're going to do that. Sigrid is charmed right now, which is a problem. <laughs> Sigrid's charmed. Um, do I get my thing back in time? Maybe not. Probas ult is ready. Sigrid's ult's ready, but. Uh, Sigrid is currently charmed. So as soon as I can, she's doing her ability. Do it in time. Just got a few of them dead in time. So I've got four stacks on her, and I've got three stacks on me right now. Sigrid is ready to ult again. I think I'm just going to hold that ult until we can get a chunk of these new ones. Again, Eli Wright. Buffs on one of them, we're buff in here, and then Sigrid straight away. Now let's see how much damage we need. Sigrid, I think on this side. Oh, are they dead? She eat them. I think they're dead. Okay, cool. Oh no, they exploded. They didn't die, they exploded and killed me. Okay, when you're struggling, sometimes it's time for a snack. So we're going to grab some more attack from our food. Uh, cool thing about this game is you can just. Uh, craft food buffs and stuff like that, which is actually very awesome. So let's see if that's going to do the difference for us. I'm just so close to being able to take down these mobs, and I'm hoping it's going to make the, the difference here. Okay, drop defense is on. Debuffs everywhere. Slam dunk this one. So nearly dead. Oh man, so nearly dead. Okay, it did pop actually, it did die. Somehow it died after the event. We've now got some spider buddies. Should kill that other sack, which we have. And a spiderling actually, that's good. We're in better shape. Just need my Sigrid back. Again, it's super tight here on getting Sigrid back. But there it is. Kill the sack. Didn't kill the sack. So it ate two this time. That's better. Better. Okay, this time I'm going to hold off on my Sigrid ult completely. See if we can do some work on these. These goons. Drop defenses on. Drop attack. Try and hopefully kill this bottom one and the middle one. Oh, it's so low. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to try my burn squad instead, see how this goes. Basically, what I'm going to try here is using Durham to do the damage. Uh, cool thing about this game is I can literally grab some of the gear from my previous team and just load a new loadout. So I've got all of these saved presets. I come into this, I've, I've pre-saved where the gear is going to be, I use it, and then it just moves it all around as I want. So I've now got some of the same gear that I was using on my last squad is actually set up here. So we're going to go in for this idea here. I'm going to use Durham's alt on manual, hoping that we can get some alt work done on this back row. My Durham. He's done a good amount of damage. Should get a bit more done from my other dudes. I do still spawn some spiders out. It's a little bit annoying, actually. Look how close they are to being dead. Arasis is doing tons of work on the boss. This is to slow this down because I, I should get my Durham's ult back in time before the boss eats stuff. Just about. Yeah. Egg sacs all dead. How much does she eat? I've killed seven. She's eaten two. That's not too bad. Okay. Not too bad. It's the next ones which are tricky because they explode on you. But I've got, um, what, two damage dealers here, here in Arasis and Durham. Look at the damage there. Nice hit. Again, we want to get some burns down on this back row, which is happening. Dolphus now is going to drop a bit of extra damage. Going to drop the Durham ult on this back row. Is it enough? They're burning still. They're still ticking. One. Dead. Damage reduction in from Horus here in the front row. Erasis is doing some colossal damage on the boss. Look at that hit. It's a big hit. One little fella in the back row still. Got nice shields coming out here from Adolphus. I got my Elminster in there who I just like farmed. You guys would have seen that if you're watching the videos. The letter eat up that last one. Gonna get a good old slam going down on this boss. We've got 400k left to do. I'm wondering whether I switch my damage now to the boss. 240k left. Or do I keep going with the ads? Oh, this is tricky. It's tricky. What should I do? What should I do? Maybe I'll go with the ads. Oh, 200k though. No, I'm not going for the boss. Could be a mistake. 100k left. 40k left. It should be done. Yeah, come on. So we got the weekly challenge done, and that's going to earn me some of those uh, beautiful scrolls, which is going to enable me to get some of those epic books and uh, legendary books. Now, this game is a lot of fun. If you want to get involved, you can do. You can download now using my link down below, or you can use the QR code. And I just want to say thank you again, Dragonair, for sponsoring the video. I'll see you in the next one.